What? What? Hold up. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. Wow. Ooh. Mm. Oh. Well, well, well. Medea is in trouble. What happened? Do you think he sought out the royals because he thought that the royals being a godfather to an invented child would protect him from this because he's seen how the royals get away with a lot? Do you think that's why he became friendly with Rachel Megan Ragland and that idiot husband of ours? Do you think he knew his time was up and he figured if I become Lilibet's godfather, even if it's made up, I wonder if that's why he's going along with the lie of the baptism and that the child exists. Is it because he's thinking if I go along with her lie, the royal family will have to protect me or else? Tyler Perry in a bit of a pickle. Hmm. Hello, beautiful people. Yes, before we discuss this, I want to thank those who have bought a raffle ticket. And I want to congratulate Jen from The Real Housewives. I was told by a fan that she raised $5,000 for the Red Cross yesterday in her life of two hours. That is amazing. Congrats to her for doing that. And, you know, I wish I were a big organization because people usually have more feel... Huh. Because it's a big established organization, it's uh, people feel more comfortable donating. So I know I'm, I'm, I'm just a little school in Central America, but there's still 170 ticket raffle tickets left. Uh, it's $5 each ticket. Each ticket buys a kid a meal and a little gift for Christmas. So let's hope you can buy them today, guys. Um, thanks very much for that. I mean, it's amazing, the YouTube community. I'm so happy for Jen, you know. Um, this is one of the things with Meghan Markle when she said she was going to, Archwell or her organization was going to focus on helping smaller organizations. Mine would have been perfect because, you know, but of course it was never about that, was it? Maybe she meant herself as a small <laughs> groups organizations. So please buy a ticket. And yes, you do have to sign up because it is a secured website. I don't get to see who bought a ticket. I don't even see the details. Um, I only get to see uh, the person who wins. I get the name, the address, and the email to notify. So yes, please buy a ticket. It's $5. The link is in the video description. Um, and you win an, a beautiful, a beautiful clutch. So yes, thank you very much for coming here. And yes, by the way, the answer to the questions, because you do get asked, asked one question to ensure you're not a bot and you're alive, is 14 times 0.5. That's the right answer, okay? So thank you very much to all of those who have bought a ticket. Only 170 to go, and it only it's only $5. Thank you very much for that, guys. And by the way, if you like the videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All the good stuff. How much of a stalker is Megan? I know you've seen the rounds where Megan is talking about, oh my God, Miss Ann Harriman. Oh, um, you know, Archie, I bought a camera to my four-year-old. No, I'm sorry, my four and a half-year-old because he doesn't, she doesn't even know how old her rented kid is. And the reason why she talks about Leica camera is because of Princess Catherine, who was featured in a shoot with her camera. I mean, if Archie actually mentioned Catherine, it's because probably he sees her. He has seen her so much on screen of all this stalking Meghan Markle does that he recognizes that, and he probably recognizes the camera. That's how much Meghan Markle must be stalking Catherine. But wasn't it cringe that even Missan Harriman, you know, you can see him moving uncomfortably in the chair. I'm not going to play that video here. How much of an insanity that story was. Right now, Harry, I don't know if Harry knows because we know that Meghan Markle is very adept at hiding news from Harry. But Harry at the same time is absolutely uh, obsessed with internet, with uh, media and social media. We know that, even though he says that he's not, we know that's absolute BS. We know that because um, Cressida Bonas said that in one of the interviews that she got fed up because he was obsessed. He also said that he was obsessed. I mean, let's have coffee in the morning, guys. 
Um, so he must know by now what's happening with Tyler Perry and Christian Keys. That meant to me, if it's true, he seems pretty intent on being true, and everything points out to being Tyler Perry. Um, I wonder how Harry's going to feel about his freedom flight. How do you think Harry's going to feel about his freedom flight and being housed in the house of a possible predator? With his young children while he was smoking joints because in his spare book, he says that he was rolling joints while Meghan Markle and the kid, and the kid, Archie at the time, was we're asleep. Now, it's really incredible because as I said at the introduction of this video, did Tyler Perry reach out to Meghan Markle? Because he thought that by associating his name to an event related to the royal family permanently, that that would help him out because he knew that this was coming this kind of behavior doesn't happen in a vacuum and there were rumors. I did a video about when the Netflix thing came out and he was like the godfather of Lily and I did one or two videos. It's too bad back then I didn't used to put description in, in it and stuff like that. And you have to be very careful with the titles otherwise you, you get strikes. But I did a video and I said what's going to happen when Meghan Markle finds out, if Meghan Markle finds out that Tyler Perry is a criminal or a predator. I did a video also about uh, Hollywood being rotten and I mentioned Tyler Perry, Oprah, that what it was their time, their time was up. I didn't know about this, but there were rumors about Tyler Perry, just like there's absolute, I mean, I don't even know why they call it rumors. I will call it unproven fact. I'm not saying that Tyler Perry is the one who's accused in that video. But everything points out to that. I mean, I am not, almost 99% sure that it is Tyler Perry. And the guy is right. People hate the messenger. They don't hate the person that we are giving you the message about. We are hated when we talk about a royal that you guys like, even if it's a fact that this royal is actions and i'm not going to call it misbehavior it's even if their actions are criminal people get angry when when we point it out oh you don't like this you don't like that. because he's right people don't like the messenger that tells you the news the bad what you consider bad news about a favorite celebrity or royal you hate us i see it in the in the subscription you know like even even bookworm when she talks about charles and she says something that you guys don't like her numbers go down it, it is actually, you know, it is your power. But instead of you unsubscribing, why don't you just hit that, then, you know, uh, the uh, you don't like button. Just hit the I don't like this video button, but remain subscribed, especially bookworm. You know, she, she, she works really hard for what she does. But yes, going back to Tyler Perry, Christian Keys has gone online. And I can't play the video here because it, I'm not allowed to do that. But I'm going to leave the link in the video description. Um, has basically gave, given a description of Medea, of Tyler Perry, because Tyler Perry was his mentor. And I know that the black community is going to come out for him. So what's going to happen now with Meghan Markle? Meghan Markle right now must be saying, this is why I don't like black people, because they're so shady as F. This is, I can see it, guys. Meghan Markle coming out with a statement. <laughs> we didn't know. We didn't but even if she had known I don't think she would have cared I think she would have given it a thumbs up even if she didn't know she wouldn't have cared because he's a black billionaire giving her an airplane in in her experience when she was a call girl for all these billionaires and millionaires they got away with a lot and she has seen firsthand how much she can get she has gotten away with she has gotten away with absolutely trashing slandering her entire family committing perjury committing fraud in my opinion um harry and and, and even scoby 
is, you know, gets this sprinkle dust from the royal family that he's able to commit perjury and nothing happens to him. We just had a judgment from the UK courts based largely on the testimony of Obi Scoby and a detective who is shady as F because the judge, in spite of what he said in many instances, is such, it was such a weird statement. But they couldn't allow Harry not to have something. So I wonder if Medea is doing the same thing. And I wonder how much this is going to cost him in regards to Meghan Markle. Because Meghan Markle is going to charge him a lot of money. Yes, she is going to charge him a lot of money for this. Either she's going to distance herself from this, she's going to put out a statement, because we know Meghan Markle loves putting out statement, guys. We know that. We know Meghan Markle has better on their statement. She's, she's like, she's a rabid statement doer, you know, and they're so long and boring. So with this, Christian Key says it's not about money. He says that, you know, after what's happened and he's seen things, he wants to come out and talk about it. Apparently, there was an attempt. I mean, this guy has everything. According to him, he has everything backed up. And I don't blame you, buddy, if you have that because people are not, people are still, even if they see the evidence in their faces, because I've lived it here in this channel, even if I present you the evidence, I mean, black and white words from directly the sources, people still come out and say, no, you're wrong. As though I'm the one writing those things in official government sources. So I understand where Christian Keys is coming from. And like, as he says, he only has $3,000 in his pockets. He doesn't have the billions, the backing of Oprah, because we've seen what Oprah's done with Monique. I wonder what Oprah is going to say. Is Oprah going to have an entire show about Tyler Perry, how, she, how he fooled her? You see, this is the thing with this high public, uh, with uh, public figures. These publicity stunts, they're everywhere. And then when they're caught, because there's absolutely no way that people like Oprah and Tyler, you don't get to be billionaires without doing shady stuff, especially where they come from, because they have to step on people. And once they get there, things get to their head and they feel untouchable. Now, Tyler Perry is being touched. He's going to be touched all over and not the way he likes. You know, he's not going to be spared, pun intended. You know, so I wonder what's going to be the fight in Montecito right now. If Harry's going to say, I knew, I knew we were, we shouldn't have done this. I knew, oh Meg, oh M, what did you get me into now? Oh my God. And he's with Lilibet, the invisible kid. And Megan saying, the pain is real. It feels very, very real, the pain. Nobody's asked me if I'm okay. Nobody. So it's going to be another nail in the coffin in that Montecito charade of a in farce of a marriage. But do you think, guys, that the royal family is going to protect Tyler Perry? Do you think that Tyler Perry is going to use Meghan Markle and her connections to the royal family to be helped out? Because people think that the reach of the royal family is only in the United States. There's a reason why the monarchy, the British monarchy, is the most powerful monarchy in the world. Charles has a lot, a lot of trust in, in the United States. He has the Prince's Trust there. He has a lot of investments in the United States. And Tyler Perry is a billionaire. So I wonder how much it's going to cost Tyler Perry for, to be helped by the royal family. It, it is going to be, I mean, do you think that the royal family is going to take advantage of this? Do you think Mega for sure will take advantage of this? So we're going to have, I think, this is just my opinion, but let me know what you think. Either Mega Markle and Harry are going to put a statement. She didn't put a statement with Jessica Mulroney, but then again, Jessica Mulroney is not a billionaire, black billionaire who's been accused of SA, sexual assault. Um, and Tyler Perry is very high profile. He's the godfather to a child while being a, accused of being a predator. And if proven to be right, it is going to be the bomb. It's going to be really, really interesting what's going to come out now. I mean, what do you guys think? 
Do you think Megan is going to denounce and condone Medea? Do you think she's going to ask the church to remove him as a godfather? Or do you think she's going to capitalize on this? Let's see what her moral compass is about hers and Harry's. What their moral compass is like. Because, I'll tell you why. If they don't, I'm not saying right now because the name hasn't even been mentioned, but I'm pretty sure that's where we're headed. I mean, it didn't take a math genius, even Harry, who's a stupid Forrest Gump, without the noble element in it, of, of Forrest Gump in him, has figured this one out. I really do think so, guys. I think he has figured this one out. So, what if that is proven to be the case? And this is why you shouldn't rush, especially with Hollywood people. Especially with Hollywood people. Tyler Perry sending their plane. Do you think Tyler Perry has them recorded? And this is why he housed them in his mansion? Because he's recorded. I'm sure he has recording devices everywhere. There's absolutely no way that this man has not recorded Harry and Meghan Markle in that house. And has footage of them. I wonder why they left. It is going to be interesting. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and buy a raffle ticket. It's only 170 tickets left. But do leave me your comments, beautiful people. The thing is going to hit the ceiling. This is going to be the bomb in Hollywood, although I'm pretty sure everybody in Hollywood knew because as Christine Key said, everybody knew. Everybody knew, but they just turned a blind eye. So do you think that Tyler Perry's the black Harvey Weinstein because that's pretty much what this guy is saying that he's the black Harvey Weinstein it is actually quite awful and I don't think anybody is going to be spared I wonder if Harry and Meghan as I said are going to distance themselves from him once he's named because that's where we're headed mm.